Today I finally got a bottle lid I've been waiting for for ages. I wanted something where I could have a spray bottle lid but then also a cap as well so that, that way I could spray something into my hair over the course of the day and then in the evening do a hair rinse after I'd had a shower and washed it all out. So one of the things I want to try and do over the next few months is share herbs and plants which are commonly associated either as a weed or just for cooking but actually have so many different uses for hair and skincare and one of those is bay and I know that normally this is not the first thing that you would think about. It's very very good for your skin but it's also very very good for your hair and especially stimulating growth which is something that I really want right now along with nettles. Again, it's the kind of thing that most people think of as a weed, but has so many uses. So I'm going to be using these two plants today to make a hair tonic. And like most of the skincare DIYs that I do, it is very simple. Just do remember to wash out all your plants because especially nettles, one of the reasons they're so good for things like bees and butterflies is because they're a very good home for them. So they do tend to be covered in eggs and caterpillar eggs. So you do want to rinse these out first, cut everything up, pop it in a pot and then you want to pop that pot on the smallest hob you have and then on the lowest possible heat. You want this to simmer not boil so you'll see steam coming off it but you shouldn't see bubbles rising up from the bottom. If that's happening it's boiling and it's too much, turn the heat down or turn it off even if you need to. Don't be surprised if the leaves start to look a little bit disgusting but don't worry about that. Once you've let everything simmer for 30 to 40 minutes, you want to get a little bit of a cloth, put it over a funnel and then pour it out. Don't worry if you make a mess. I made such a mess that in the end, I only filled about one third of the bottle. As it is, one third of the bottle is just about enough for one use of this. What I like to do is spray it into my hair continually throughout the day. So every 30 minutes, an hour, I'll spray some more into my hair, brush it through and let it build up and up and up until I have a shower in the evening once I've washed that out and rinsed the last bit that's left in the bottle, it just leaves your hair feeling absolutely fantastic. It's such a simple recipe to make and if you grow your own bay tree, you know that sometimes those things can get a little bit overgrown and wild, so if you're looking for another use for bay leaves, this is it. If you like my content and want to follow me on Patreon, that's where you can find my early content, extra content and see the thought process behind things like my books, cover designs, videos and artwork. You can also find me on Instagram, but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list. On the top right hand corner, you put your name, the email you want your new content to be sent to, and that's it. You're done.